This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by Connected Data, the makers of Transporter and the brand new Transporter Sync. Find out more and get 10% off the new Transporter Sync with the offer code MV10 at filetransporter.com slash MV. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for CES. I'm in the NanoView booth talking to Alfred about iFly 3D. Uh, something I'll let him tell you about it. Folks, it's going to be a little tough for you to fully appreciate this because it is a 3D product and we're shooting 2D, but you'll get the idea. Alfred, it's great to see you. Thank you. So tell me about this. This is very, very intriguing. Yes. So what we have done is that we've taken a little piece of plastic and you probably can see it right here. Uh, it has complete translucency, so you actually can see right through it. You apply this piece of plastic over a regular phone. For now, it's an iPhone, iPad, uh, as well as an iPod, and it will actually take the images that are in the back of an existing phone and convert that into a 3D. You also can see your existing 2D uh, as it stands without any kind of uh, distortion, which is a key difference between our technology and some of the older types of technology. The reason why we've been able to do that is because we've actually built in uh, nanotechnology into this piece of plastic, so you can you can actually have about half a million lenses on just the simple form factor here. On the, on the iPad over here, you're looking at about two and a half million lenses. So the lenses are very thin and very small, which basically diffracts light, sending an image that's slightly different from one eye to the other. So in doing that, you actually get 3D. So the in interesting part of the technology is we can actually take 2D or 3D and convert that into 3D for you. So it, a lot of people say there's not enough 3D content. Uh, so what we have done is that we've written a converter that can take still pictures and take videos in 2D and convert that into 3D. So um, if you like, I can show an example. We have, um, I don't know if you actually can see that, but this is a picture that we've, we've taken. I'm tilting it to the left and to the right so you can actually see the 3D effect. Now you have to have two eyes to see 3D. Unfortunately, this camera only has one ca uh, one lens. So these are some of the pictures that I've taken. Over here, this is a uh, video that's shot with a GoPro. It's a it's a dual lens uh, camera. Uh, I also will have um, this a Samsung camera that's somewhere over here that also has two lenses. You can take it verbatim, and then immediately Wi-Fi it into a computer and then suck it out from our device. The basic problem in the past is that even you've had all the best gear in, in uh, the 3D gear, there's no way of you viewing it unless you put in your glasses and, and, and put it up your big screen TV. So we've now made it possible with simple phone, plastic, or on your on your mobile or an iPad. And what's interesting, and again, un unfortunately they can't see it, but it's not a jarring kind of 3D. It's it's a it's a subtle 3D, but it is definitely there. It definitely kind of enhances the experience. That's correct. And the reason for that is because uh, you know if you take a look at 3D, there are 3D that actually extrudes punches in your face, and for you to do that, your two eyes actually get cross-eyed. So it is very strenuous to you. Like for example, if you take your hand and you put it into your into your, your finger into your eyes, your, your eyes are actually going this way. So we, we tend to, to take a look at it as though we build a window. and the window, you see depth. So this is exactly the, the, the methodology we have taken. You can take that, that uh, it's just asking anyone if they'd like to have a window in their office or a, piece of, or a picture. And it's always the former, right? So we've done that. We built the depth for you to see that. Now, the first thing is this is just like any other protective film that you would put on your iPhone. So that's it's cool. that's exactly what it looks like, folks. Um, but what does this do to the, my normal iPhone experience? Do as far as my regular apps or, I mean, anything else I would run on my iPhone other than 3D enhanced content? So it's um, it ha it's probably hardly negligible. There's a very slight distortion, but that could be akin to you putting in uh, a matte finish on your, on your screen protector on your phone. Um, so to a lot of people, that there's hardly any distortion. And therefore, and it, it's only applicable, the 3D comes into effect once you call our apps, which is free. 
And I, I loved your point about the Samsung and GoPro stereo or 3D cameras that are already out there. So you can shoot content and view it right away on your iPad and get a feel for what it's going to look like. Exactly. You can, feel, uh, you can also wireless. In fact, we have a demo set up. We can actually show that to you in a little bit, uh, how we can wire wirelessly take images, even from two phones, and then merge that into a single image so you can see 3D. And we were talking. You were talking about converting existing content to 3D. Um, are those apps in the App Store now? It is. So it's a simple app which you can actually call, uh, and it would add automatically convert in real time in 2D to 3D. We're also uh, able to take YouTube videos and either take 3D YouTube content or if it's 2D, convert that in real time. So you could stream videos. Uh, and be able to see it in 3D, all on, on your existing phone. Very interesting. What kind of pricing is there for the iPhone film and also for the iPad film? Well, this retails at $26.95 for the iPhone, and, and this is $59.95 for the iPad. Is it available now? It's available right now. Uh, we are looking for distributors in America. Uh, online, I think Amazon and, and through our website, which is www.ifly3d, you, you'll be able to order that. Alfred, thank you so much for the time. It's a very, very intriguing thank product, and, and, it, and it really works. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Folks, more from CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, app.net, Google+, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date with all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.